group of, of migrants all packed on a small boat. The boat actually capsized and we had to throw them life preservers. And we enforced those laws. I think we'd be a much better country. We, people could enter with dignity with their head held high. This weekend's incident is one of a growing number of maritime smuggling incidents along San Diego beaches. Beach the, the uh, boat itself and then people get out to a half dozen people or so and then just walk into the neighborhood. Crossing illegally here in the San Diego sector is now up 500% over the same time last year. All uh, law enforcement allow us to get out there and try to apprehend these people entering illegally. Chaos on San Diego beaches. Leaders in the San Diego area called for stronger border enforcement Monday evening after a motorboat loaded with suspected illegal immigrants ran ashore on a Carlsbad beach over the weekend. We have no idea who they are, we have no idea where they are, and these people were not vetted at all, San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond said at a press conference Monday morning, calling the boat landing a coordinated effort. Video shared widely on social media showed a boat speeding between surfers before running ashore on Saturday. More than a dozen people jumped off the boat and ran into the city, with some hopping into waiting cars. Migrants have long sneaked into the U.S. by way of the Pacific Ocean, but over the last three years, California has seen an exponential increase in maritime smuggling. Brandon Tucker, Director of Customs and Border Protection's Air and Marine Operations in San Diego, school year 2020, maritime smuggling events, which can in also include trafficking drugs and other contraband, in California have increased nearly 140 percent, according to CBP. That happens all the time, El Cajon Mayor and Congressional Candidate Bill Wells told Fox News Digital. While out sailing, Wells said he and his family had to throw life preservers through a group of suspected migrants whose boat had capsized. If I'm seeing that in the harbor on the one time a year that I go out, you know it's happening every single day, he said. Desmond previously told Fox News it is untenable and unsustainable to have people just coming in and walking into neighborhoods from another country. A group of, of migrants all packed on a small boat. The boat actually capsized and we had to throw them life preservers. A viral video of a boat packed with migrants near the Carlsbad shore is raising a lot of concern for some local leaders. And if I'm seeing that in the harbor on the one time a year that I go out in the harbor, um, I, you, you know it's happening every single day. The video shot over the weekend in Carlsbad shows a motorboat dangerously speeding through the water. During Monday's press conference, Desmond and other leaders called for federal authorities to bolster border security. The chaos at the border and the fact that many of these crossers know there will be no consequences here encourages this, and it makes our cities less safe, Oceanside Deputy Mayor Ryan Keim said, according to local news reports. California state law bars local police from working with Border Patrol and other federal agencies to enforce immigration laws. Desmond said the latest viral boat landing shows that it's time to end incentives and sanctuary for illegal immigration. Then running ashore with a group of people on board just jumping out and running away. And we enforce those laws, I think we'd be a much better country. We, people could enter with dignity with their head held high. Migrants are among the fastest growing group flowing into the country, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. The fact that many people have come here is primarily because we put out the red carpet, he said. Also on Monday, Democratic Rep Mike Levin, whose district includes Carlsbad, called on House Speaker Mike Johnson to bring to a vote a resolution, doubling the range in which Customs and Border Protection agents can operate along the coast, from 12 to 24 nautical miles. Land border encounters in Southern California have also increased dramatically in recent years. So far, the San Diego sector has seen more than 185,000 encounters in fiscal year 2024, up nearly 70 percent from the same period in 2023, according to CBP data. This weekend's incident is one of a growing number of maritime smuggling incidents along San Diego beaches. And these are like 12 or 15 people per boat. We see the boats coming in, they, they land on the shore. Well, to see it live like that, I mean, even the police and the Border Patrol said they'd never caught it live like I did. But in California, they're not going to be, be, even be pursued. In San Diego, they're releasing a lot of these migrants into the neighborhoods. Illegal migrants on California beaches. A shocking video shared on social media shows a boat full of illegal migrants arriving onshore at the famous La Jolla beaches in San Diego, California. First shared on X, formerly Twitter, by internet personality Colin Rugg on January 26. In the footage, 
several migrants can be seen arriving on a boat before running off into the posh neighborhood in San Diego, which is the largest city on the Mexican border. Rugg wrote on the platform, Illegal storm the beaches of La Jolla, California, in a smuggling boat and then abandon the boat for everyone else to deal with. He continued, Just a normal day in California. Good Samaritan surfers swam out to pick up all the trash that the illegals left for them. The trash included fuel cans which leaked into the ocean. He added that a local revealed, the waves were gnarly and the boat had capsized. The fuel had dumped into the water and you could smell it. The illegals reportedly got away as they usually do and ran into the community. La Jolla is a liberal community so they should have no problem taking these illegals in, Rugg added. And the fact that many of these crossers know there will be no consequences here encourages this and it makes our cities less safe. One car, one SUV, and then like 10 got in it, but they left the rest behind and they just started walking toward, you know. Beach, the, the uh, boat itself, and then people get out to a half dozen people or so, and they just walk into the neighborhood. Uh, what drugs, weapons, and who's on the terror watch list that's coming in via boats? Soon after the video went viral on social media, netizens flooded the comments section expressing their concerns. An ex-user shared more videos of the incident, along with the caption, My friend took some of this footage. Here's more of them jumping into the vehicles after fleeing the beach. Another wrote, Illegals storm the beaches and leave a mess, but hey, it's California, where every day is a new adventure in policy failures. And the environmentalists? Strangely silent on those fuel spills. Guess oil's only a problem when it's legal. One more said, We will see more of this soon enough. This shows how vulnerable our land and sea are, and just how easy it is for us to be overtaken. This is only one boat. Imagine if it were ships. It's not far off from possibility. Smugglers, it doesn't matter to them if it's a pound of cocaine, a pound of meth, or a human. It's just a commodity. Crossing illegally here in the San Diego sector is now up 500% over the same time last year. Penalties on human smugglers. We need the state and federal officials to bring more resources. First, I'm thinking how dangerous it was. There was no regard for public safety for surfers or people who are in the water at the time. Combating Maritime Migrant Smuggling The Smuggling of Migrants by Sea, or SMS Protocol, aims to prevent and combat the smuggling of migrants by land, sea, and air through a comprehensive international approach. This includes cooperation, information exchange, and appropriate measures, including socio-economic measures. The protocol was established due to the significant increase in organized criminal groups' activities in smuggling and related issues. The terms smuggling of migrants and illegal entry refer to the procurement of illegal entry into a state party without a national or permanent resident, crossing borders without legal requirements, fraudulent travel or identity documents, and vessels. The scope of application applies to the prevention, investigation, and prosecution of transnational offenses involving an organized criminal group and the protection of the rights of persons who have been the object of such offenses. State parties are required to cooperate to the fullest extent possible, providing assistance to other states' parties in suppressing the use of vessels flying their flag or claiming their registry without nationality. They may request assistance from other states' parties in suppressing the use of a vessel for that purpose, rendering such assistance to the extent possible within their means. State parties must promptly inform the flag state concerned of the results of any measure taken in accordance with paragraph 2 of this article and respond expeditiously to a request from another state party to determine whether a vessel claiming its registry or flying its flag is entitled to do so and to take appropriate measures with regard to that vessel. State parties must ensure the safety and humane treatment of persons on board, take due account of the need not to endanger the security of the vessel or its cargo, and ensure that any measure taken with regard to the vessel is environmentally sound. The Convention on the Protection and Control of Migrants emphasizes the importance of border measures, training, and technical cooperation in preventing and detecting smuggling operations put migrants' lives at risk and put my agents' lives at risk every time they try to smuggle migrants. This should be a bipartisan issue. This is, should not be a left or right issue. All, uh, law enforcement allow us to get out there and try to apprehend these people entering illegally. States' parties must strengthen border controls, 
adopt legislative measures to prevent commercial carriers from using transport for smuggling offenses, and ensure all passengers possess necessary travel documents for entry into the receiving state. Sanctions for violations are provided in accordance with domestic law, and cooperation among border control agencies is considered. Security and control of documents are crucial for states' parties to ensure high-quality, legitimate, and valid documents. Training and technical cooperation are also essential for preventing, combating, and eradicating smuggling conduct. States' parties must provide necessary resources, such as vehicles, computer systems, and document readers, to combat the conduct set forth in Article 6. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities outlines principles and procedures for implementing the Convention, emphasizing bilateral or regional agreements, operational arrangements, and understandings between states' parties. Article 18 of the Protocol outlines the return of smuggled migrants, requiring states' parties to facilitate and accept the return of a person who has been the object of conduct set forth in Article 6. State parties are required to settle disputes regarding the interpretation or application of the protocol through negotiation. If a dispute cannot be resolved within a reasonable time, it may be submitted to arbitration at the request of one of the state's parties. If parties cannot agree on the organization of the arbitration, they may refer the dispute to the International Court of Justice. At the time of signature, ratification, acceptance or approval, each state party may declare that it does not consider itself bound by paragraph 2 of this article. The protocol is open for signature by all states from 12 to 15 December 2000 and thereafter at United Nations headquarters in New York until 12 December 2002. It is open for accession by any state or regional economic integration organization with at least one member state being a party to the protocol. After five years, a state party may propose an amendment and file it with the Secretary-General of the United Nations. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.